So we are back at our mobile studio at ScienceCom 2019. As I was saying, Pinash Templi is one of the organizers of this event from Science et Cité. Tina, can you tell us what are your impressions of this year's event? You haven't witnessed several of them. Yeah, I'm just overwhelmed, really. Uh, I've seen all those um, people coming to Biel, to Bien, to ScienceCom, and just talking together, mingling amongst it, each other, and uh, I'm really overwhelmed. Uh, I, uh, it's wonderful, yeah. What are some of the main insights you have gathered from the talks and workshops that have been going on in the past day and a half? Well, uh, probably one and a, and a day and a half is not enough. Uh, really, the people, they are talking so much. Once you have a good um, place where they can meet, they have so much to discuss, discuss to each other. So if you have uh, places where people can meet and uh, talk to each other, amazing ideas just occur and I think uh, this uh, networking also is very important for science communication because we bring together uh, people from all different kinds of places. Um, they can be in mediation, they are at, at um, communication institutions, uh, there are researchers here in, in Biel, so it's really wonderful just to, to, to let it flow and uh, see how people are creative. Is there one or several particular ideas that have caught your ear, an example perhaps? So, um, well, uh, I got uh, also ideas that uh, we do a bit at Science Cité and that I think let's do it even more. So um, go to the places where people are, um, just uh, let things happen. Um, we have encounters between scientists, researchers, and public, and um, it's always just wonderful to see what happens. Um, aside from the, um, the fact that people are happy on this one, uh, yeah. one and a half day event, do you have any other ways of measuring the impact of such networking uh, occurrences? Well, one thing we do an evaluation after science come and uh, probably now it's out <laughs> so uh, people please uh, or, or everybody please fill out the evaluation form and uh, i think maybe in uh, a few months or uh, years even you, you you meet people again and then they tell you that an idea they had at science come 2019 uh, they realized because they met someone and then they told, um, they made connections, and maybe there is a project. So this is not really empirical, but uh, I hope, and I have heard that from previous science comms, that uh, people have met and they uh, created something really nice. So from your uh, ongoing experience at such events, what would you like to see more of in science comm and maybe less of in science comm? Well, actually, um, what I always see is um, the creativity, and uh, it starts with the call for proposals. That you, it's hard, really hard for the program committee to to choose um, amongst all these uh, good um, proposals, and um, it's it's going more in a direction where we have interactive formats, and I think that's really interesting. But on the other hand, as we had really two great talks uh, from Emmanuel Giacometti and Andy Mia with a lot of discussion afterwards in the, in the plenary uh, hall. And um, this is really something I love. I think it's both. You need uh, like the, the keynotes and, and the discussions in, in groups, in big groups and also the interactive format. So I think we should go on with that unless evaluation shows something else. And actually, I don't know what, what I would like to see less because what I have seen was so positive. So for me, it's really great. And maybe one last thing, what would be your message for a future communicator about science? 
don't be afraid to, to start at the point where you actually um, have no uh, clear idea, but you know uh, there is something we should talk about and maybe you should try to just go out, reach out for someone to really talk about and then to, to, to make a plan or to, um, to get more puzzle pieces, um, yeah, and then just start at the really early age. Tina Stempfli and Science and Cité, thank you very much for this event and good luck.